I'm at the point right now. Oh, the anticipation is getting the best of me. I feel like a tractor, I'm sitting at a tractor pole on the start line. And as they sit there, they start their engines and they rev their engines and there's smoke and there's noise and anticipation. And hopefully the engine doesn't blow up before it starts. But then when they drop the flag, pow, off it goes, roaring and smoke and flames and working as hard as it can. Hopefully the engine doesn't blow up as it's pulling. It kind of feels like me. The anticipation right now is too much. I'm sitting on that start line and my engine is revving. Smoke is bellowing. My wife is just trying to hold me down best she can until that flag drops. Hopefully Sunday, 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 Sunday. And I'm just gonna give her, I'm gonna, it's gonna start the year getting up in the morning, ready to go, working as hard as I can to just about exhaustion. Hopefully not blowing up the engine and recovering overnight and then doing it again in the morning. It's weird because a sense of anticipation, always looking at the forecast and measuring what's coming. It almost feels like it's Tuesday, Wednesday already. I keep looking at the calendar. No, it's only Saturday. It's only Saturday. All in good time. This is my prospect yard. Talking to a neighbor to see if he'll rent me this. It hardly looks like an acre here. Maybe an acre and a half. just adjacent to a gravel pit and it doesn't really grow anything as you can see that's the extent of the crop last year although we were in a drought last year and these are big farmers they don't have time to come and clean up this little corner I mean one pass with their equipment is hardly worth their while so I'm trying to convince them to let me rent this and I could drop like three truckloads of bees in here, right off the road. Nicely sheltered. Along the escarpment. So I got my heat sink, lots of sun. So fingers crossed. Trucks loaded, and I'm not sure what to think. I'm seeing concerning things. Shitty fronts, and some really shitty fronts. But the colonies are alive yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some samples sent away to the diagnostic lab and I get some professional Nozema samples counted. I 
Everything that we've tested has shown very little for Nozema. But that doesn't necessarily mean Nozema. It means they have upset guts. They need to get out and fly. This warm weather can't come soon enough.